the part that has always been strange to me is that even at this scale that we call home, the scale that we perceive, we're actually quite bad at it. We don't see most of the action that's going on. So an example of this, take the, uh, the colors of our world. So this is electromagnetic radiation that bounces off objects and hits specialized receptors in the back of our eyes. Um, and as many of you may know, um, the part that we call visible light is actually less than a 10 billionth of the amount of light that's out there. So all this is electromagnetic radiation. It's just that we have receptors for this part and not for the rest of it. So you have radio waves and x-rays and cosmic rays and microwaves and all this stuff is passing through your body and it's completely invisible to you. You have no idea that it's out there. There are thousands of cell phone conversations passing through your body right now. And, and it's totally invisible to you. Why? It's because you don't have the specialized receptors for that frequency. Instead, you only have it for this little range in between. Now, it's not that this stuff is unseeable. So uh, rattlesnakes, for example, include part of the infrared range in their view of reality. And honeybees include some of the ultraviolet range in their view of reality. It's just that you can't see any of this, at least not yet. So, what this leads to, I think, is this very counterintuitive idea that your experience of reality is actually constrained by your biology. And, and that goes against the common sense notion that your eyes and your ears and your fingertips are just picking up the reality that is out there, and all you need to do is open your eyes. Instead, what's happening is that we're sampling just a little bit of the world. And what's interesting is that when you look across the animal kingdom, you find that different animals pick up on totally different signals. So um, they have different parts of reality that they're detecting. So just as an example, if you are the blind and deaf tick, then what you're picking up on is temperature and butyric acid. And that's the signals that you uh, receive, and that's how you figure out your world. That's, your, that's the only signals that are telling you your reality. If you're the black ghost knifefish, you're in the pitch dark, and all you're picking up on are perturbations in electrical fields. That's how you're figuring out what's around you. If you are the blind echolocating bat, all you're picking up on are air compression waves that are coming back to you from your chirps. And the idea is that that's, that's everything. That's your whole world. And we have a word for this in science. It's called the Umwelt, which is the German word for the surrounding world. And presumably, every animal thinks that their umwelt is the entire objective reality out there. Because why would you ever stop to imagine that there's something else beyond what you can sense?